Hello YouTube, this is uh, Captain Nav. I hope you are all doing well. I've been asked uh, a few times um, how you would fly a departure uh, without using the FMC. Uh, for example, if there was a FMC uh, failure and uh, basically flying the departure uh, using uh, radio navigation and uh, raw data. So today we are on uh, London Heathrow, runway 27 left on the PMDG uh, 737 uh, NGX and we'll fly uh, the uh, Medhurst uh, 3 Golf uh, departure. So we look at the chart here from the uh, UK uh, AIP and uh, basically uh, we'll uh, climb straight ahead then it's a left turn to uh, pick up London uh, VOR Radial 241 and then we continue uh, on the departure uh, until uh, 5 DME, a left turn 162 outbound from uh, Burnham and then uh, right 192 uh, to Medhurst. So uh, we'll uh, go back into the simulator and uh, see how we can uh, set up the departure uh, with uh, the radio navigation. So first of all, I uh, will uh, set uh, course 241. That will be the first uh, radio to intercept. And uh, we'll uh, also set the VOR and the uh, navigation one uh, box here, 113 decimal 6. We can see on the navigation display we've got a London VOR uh, displayed along with uh, the course and the DME. To get this uh, display you need to select a VOR on the uh, FS panel. So then uh, we'll uh, see the next uh, setup. Uh, 421 is the frequency for the Burnham NDB which uh, will uh, pick up radial uh, 162. And then uh, on the uh, other side we've got course 192 for the right turn to uh, Midhurst and we've got a frequency set as well, 114, the small zero. So that's uh, more or less it. You can see we've got the map display here, but to show you I'm not uh, cheating, I'll uh, set also the VOR display and uh, we'll just uh, use it as, uh, as a way to, uh, to show you that the navigation is more or less accurate. So we'll get going and we'll bring the thrust to uh, 40% and uh, once the thrust is uh, stabilized, hit toga and uh, off we go. It's a good uh, acceleration here on uh, 27 left. 80 knots is uh, checked. And we'll uh, rotate. Got a positive climb, gear up, and uh, yeah, we'll just fly on the heading. We've got uh, heading select, we'll uh, engage uh, command A, and uh, off we go. The flying here is not so important, why is uh, uh, important is the navigation. So, I'll try to show you how we uh, work it out. So, basically, at this stage, we're just uh, flying on the runway heading, we can see the uh, VOR display on the captain's side, the uh, deviation bar is still quite far out, so we're still flying on the heading and uh, basically waiting for the uh, deviation bar to, uh, to move in. As soon as the deviation bar moves in, then we'll start uh, turning uh, towards the 242. So the deviation bar is now moving, so we'll uh, uh, select uh, a heading of about 246 to uh, kind of give it a cut on the uh, intercept and the uh, arm uh, vorlock. At the same time we are retracting the flaps and we can see now we have intercepted radio at uh, 241 outbound from uh, London VOR and uh, vorlock is uh, the active mode. So uh, we'll uh, continue until uh, 5 DME. If we look at the uh, map display we can see that we are pretty much on the magenta line, so the navigation is uh, fairly accurate. So as I said, we'll wait until uh, 5 DME. So at this stage, we'll uh, engage uh, heading select, and we'll uh, take uh, heading of uh, 162 to go and uh, intercept uh, bearing 162 from uh, Burnham NDB. The uh, NDB uh, needle doesn't show on the display yet, but uh, you can see. Uh, we have at the bottom here the uh, Burnham uh, ident, so uh, we know that uh, uh, the uh, NDB is uh, idented and uh, it's going to be uh, usable. So we can see now the uh, NDB uh, needle 
but the back of it because it's uh, bearing from the NDB and we can see more or less it's on uh, 162 maybe uh, moving towards 163 so we'll uh, we'll kind of uh, try to do, to judge with uh, the wind how to uh, to be on uh, radial 162 you can see on the navigation uh, display on the other side that we are slightly uh, right of it so uh, we'll uh, take uh, further cut to the left and uh, try to bring the needle back towards uh, 162 it's a little bit more difficult because there's no uh, NTB lock on the navigation system of the aircraft so you've got to kind of uh, uh, try to uh, follow the NDB needle with uh, heading select basically so we're more or less there now uh, 162 and uh, then once we get to uh, 12 DME uh, London uh, we'll uh, do a right turn uh, to pick up uh, 192 uh, to uh, Midhurst so we'll now uh, switch to uh, command uh, B and the flight director is master on the right side which is important because it will uh, guide uh, the uh, autopilot uh, on the right side of the navigation system so we still have uh, maybe a mile before turning and we can see how more or less on the uh, track which is good so we're now approaching the 12 miles and uh, we'll start the turn on a heading once again of about 195 to kind of uh, give a cut on the intercept we we'll go maybe a little bit further and arm uh, Volok and uh, Volok is armed now on the uh, other side and uh, as I said it's gonna intercept uh, the radio from uh, the right uh, side of the navigation panel on the nav2 uh, box and uh, now we've got uh, Volok and we can see we are more or less on the uh, magenta line once again so we can see that uh, navigating this way is still uh, fairly accurate so maybe not as accurate as uh, navigating with the uh, FMC but uh, it's, uh, it's not too bad actually you can see on the captain's PFD we don't have uh, a lateral bar on the uh, flight director it's because uh, we are flying from the uh, first officer side command uh, B uh, with the flight director master on the right side and the navigation also on the right side so basically as you can see we can split the autopilot function uh, left side and right side to be able to switch between uh, the left side of the navigation panel and the uh, uh, right side command A will uh, lock to the left side of the navigation panel and command B uh, will lock to the right side so we are still uh, pretty much uh, doing very well there uh, going towards Midhurst uh, the next uh, course is uh, 1, 2, 3 and uh, that's going to uh, Seaford uh, VOR so we'll set course 1, 2, 3 on the left uh, side uh, frequency is uh, 117 decimal 0 and uh, we'll uh, make it active and uh, we now have uh, course 1, 2, 3 and uh, Seaford uh, standing by on the left side as we are flying on the right side with command B uh, we can uh, change the frequencies and set the course the way we want on the left side uh, it doesn't uh, interfere in any way uh, with the navigation of the aircraft so that uh, once again shows you like how versatile and useful uh, the split of the autopilot function is with uh, command A and command B so we still have uh, maybe couple of miles before uh, Midhurst so we'll wait until about two miles it's a fairly uh, tight turn and then uh, once again uh, we'll uh, go heading select and then start the turn so we'll wait a little bit heading select and now we'll uh, turn towards uh, 123 to uh, pick up uh, the uh, 123 uh, radial to uh, Seaford and now we can again uh, engage command A you can see our flight director is uh, master on the left side and uh, 
on this setting it looks like we're gonna be uh, bang on the radio maybe we'll take a little cut and arm uh, Volok so we can see on the display we are fairly close to the radio and uh, Volok is now active on the uh, FMA and uh, that's pretty much it we are now uh, on the route uh, you may have noticed that we have uh, left the departure now uh, the departure ends at uh, Midhurst and uh, Seaford is the first uh, waypoint on the route uh, inbound to, uh, to Paris that's a flight plan going from uh, Heathrow to uh, Paris we will now continue to uh, follow the radio to uh, Seaford and you can see uh, that uh, we are really close to the Magenta line and uh, we are even getting closer to it so uh, it shows you once again how uh, accurate uh, radio navigation can be and that's pretty much it so uh, basically if you uh, want to use radio navigation on the 737 uh, NGX I do uh, recommend you use this uh, method uh, use command A uh, to uh, follow the left side of the navigation panel or nav1 and use uh, command B to use uh, the right side of the navigation panel or uh, nav2 that way you can uh, alternate between the left side and the right side and uh, have the uh, active side obviously uh, as the uh, active mode uh, at uh, one time and the uh, other side as the standby mode and then you can uh, switch with uh, command A and command B from one side to the other and always have like a side on standby and give you time to uh, prepare the other side for the next uh, turn so that's pretty much it thank you very much for uh, watching the video I hope you have found it uh, useful it's not really uh, something that we use uh, in this aircraft uh, nowadays it's always uh, LNAV and following the FMC but uh, if you have an interest in uh, radio navigation maybe this will uh, help you so if you like the video please uh, give me a thumbs up and if you want to see uh, more similar content then uh, please uh, subscribe also uh, hopefully I'll see you on uh, Twitch very soon for a uh, live flight details on the Twitch uh, channel uh, below the video also you can uh, come and say hi on the Facebook page so until next time take care and I'll uh, see you soon